Yo, yeah, what's up, guys? It's Cruz Pike. My friends call me Big C. I'm back again, guys. Today, we got another special topic. Today, we're talking about the interview. Yeah, you know that film that's in the news and on every single website. It's the Seth Rogen, James Franco, Sony produced, assassinate the current incumbent Korean political leader, Kim Jong-un movie. Well, what's up? This movie, as you're probably aware, unless you live under a rock, uh, the movie is not being distributed. Nobody is willing to put the movie into theaters up until today. Today, Sony has stated that they have some smaller theaters. It could be 100 or 200 theaters. Uh, the number's not known, but there are a few theaters now that will show the movie on December 25th. So if you've been wanting to check this out, this is great news for all of you guys that want to go look at it. It might be in a theater near you. But here's the thing, there's a good chance it isn't because it's got such a small release. So, Sony in particular, their CEO, Michael Linton, has stated that they are looking at alternative distribution attempts. They might go to different channels. Now, they've talked about a few different things. They've got their own network called Crackle. They've got Netflix that might consider it, although neither one of those has stepped up. But the one that most interests me and might most interest you, fellow YouTubers, is YouTube. YouTube is a potential amazing place for them to release this video. Why? Because the terrorist threats that were linked to the original release in the theaters, well, guess what? They were threats against physical locations, in particular cinemas, for example. And we all know it, across uh, America and, and other countries, there's been some problems in the cinemas. Now, that's one thing, but YouTube isn't a physical location. It is not. It, well, they have a location, of course, but basically YouTube is distributed everywhere. Anywhere that has an internet connection can pretty much get on YouTube. This would be an amazing potential step, in my personal opinion, and an evolution for YouTube in terms of their distribution. YouTube, for many, many years, as it started out in 2004, 2005-ish, you know, it started out, as we all know, as a place where you can go watch cat videos and watch your neighbor step on a rake and get hit in the nuts or whatever, which is great. That's what it started out as. It was called Broadcast Yourself. But YouTube has evolved and changed over the years. It's now 2014, and they have the ability to host long videos, way past feature-length films. They've got all of the codecs, all of the high def, pretty much everything is in place for them to host a feature film, a high production value feature film like the interview. So in my personal opinion, and I'm interested in your opinion, please let me know if you would watch it on YouTube. I'm assuming you would. <laughs> um, and secondly, does this actually mark a change in YouTube? Is this something that uh, Susan Wojniewski, the CEO of YouTube, should go, you know what? I believe in freedom of speech. I believe that our platform here at YouTube is capable of handling this and I want to jump in the ring and take this on and I'm going to release it. So what do you think about that? Also, if, you, if YouTube um, experiments with another type of, uh, let's say a model where, you know, they want to do a subscription fee so you can watch the video for $2.99 or $4.99 or whatever it is, is that something you would pay for? Normally with YouTube, you don't pay for content. Somebody uploads something, they watch it, they appreciate it, they, you know, they might click on an ad or they'll see an ad and somebody makes like a few cents here and there. But there's a chance here to go with video on demand for high quality AAA content. And I think YouTube needs to take that step. They need to evolve. Anyways, guys, that's my opinion. That's the news about this topic. Please, in the comments below, let me know what you think. This is your boy, Big C. I'll be back soon with some more game talk. Cheers, baby.